You know, Vision sounds a lot like my friend Ford. Were you in a band with Ford Color? Ah, good old Vision. He always had such a good eye for, you know, visuals. I see. Well, maybe when your full memory returns. Maybe I should just take a nap. I've heard about music festivals like this, but this one is surprisingly clean. <laughs> do. No, we don't. See? There you go. Me? You started this. Oh, choo-choo. Here comes the blame train. For someone who's all ears, you really don't know how to listen. For someone who's all fingers. Didn't you guys see the huge crowd down there? People are screaming for the Feast of the Senses. That's what I've been telling this one. But the problem with him is that he just won't listen. Without Psyking, there is no feast. There's nothing. But Psyking is back. What? He's down by the van with Vision. But we're not ready. We haven't practiced. Dr. Touch, where are our instruments? I, I thought you had them. We need those instruments. The crowd's getting angry. Hey, that kind of pressure is not helping. Yes, that makes us just want to stay up here. We're in safe. Maybe you could perform without your instruments? What could we possibly perform without our instruments? Hmm, magic? I do know a little sleight of hand, you know. Please. Let me take a look. I bet I can find it. Sounds good to me. Let me give you a hand. Okay, two instruments coming up. Hey, 
I love what they've done with the place. Okay, let's get those instruments and get out of here. If I know Wadi, this is gonna sound awesome. Oh, and Dr. Touch is good, too. Very clever slowing that down. I was about to suggest it. Very clever slowing that down. I was about to suggest it. Nothing between me and them except that innocuous looking empty platform. Oh, Audie and I used to sneak up here and talk about our hopes and dreams. So beautiful. Vibration is sound. Sound. 
they might not like it, but it was just so great playing with you cats again. Just so... so... great. You look good, Psy King. Let's face facts, guys. It's not going to work unless we get the whole band back together. Well, we need Sniffles and Tasty. Excited about getting the band back together, Vision? I will be as soon as we get Tasty and Sniffles back. Dr. Touch sounds an awful lot like Otto and Thomas. And Vision sounds like Ford. But there was never anything in true psychic tales about them being in a band together. Tell me. I'm just not ready. Oh, okay. So, do you have, like, super hearing? Guess not. Are you worried that the name Dr. Touch sounds a little creepy? Do you think I should switch back to Organ Master? No. Finger do. No. Flesh friend? Stop. I'm not sure this stage is structurally sound. Yeah, I think they only want you guys. Yeah, it's always rough on the opening act. Sorry. I should probably get back in the field movie. Let's go somewhere else. Everybody, back in the van. Can't beat that old van smell. Where are we going? Good idea. Let's look here. It's good to see you again, Vision. I say it's good to see anything. Am I right? Oh, Audie and I used to sneak up here and talk about our hopes and dreams. It's so beautiful. Let's go somewhere else. Everybody, back in the van. You want me to drive? I don't want to brag, but uh, I've got to... Uh... These are the concession stands. If they got hungry, they'll be here. Good idea. Let's look here. Tasty and Sniffles hung around here a lot. Oh, so many scents and flavors. And lines, man. So many long lines. I'll go find Tasty and Sniffles. mission.
fell into that hungry crowd, they would eat me. Excuse me? Hang on, kid. We're trying to decide what to order. You can eat after the show. Vision and Psy King are waiting by the van. What? Psy King is back? Let's get our instruments. We've been in this line for so long, I'm not even sure where they are. Do they have corn dogs? If so, that's what you should get. Kid, the Psy King is back. This is no time for eating. I can't believe I just said that. Why don't you just buy new instruments? My instrument is like a part of me. Yes, mine too. But part of me I set down somewhere and I can't remember. You guys let me take a look. I'll bet I can find them. Oh, Tasty, I can't decide. Well... Maybe I can find their instruments before they make up their minds. I have to admit, I'm a little afraid of this one. Why, because of all the tongues and boogers? <laughs> That's all just part of being in a band, man. Things are telling me not to hold this thing too long. What are these made of? I'm just assuming these are big gumballs. Oh, these things feel weird.
Cyber Trunk tag. That certainly took a long time. Come on, my fans are waiting. <laughs> So many people eat without really tasting. Such a shame. I can smell my own sweat. You're not supposed to be able to do that, are you? Oh, God. Now I can taste it. Ah. about. Inside out. You know that without smelling, most flavors fall flat. That's a good spot. to that idea. Guess I need more practice. Whoa! I did not see that coming.
like that a little too much, if you ask me. This area really smells. <laughs> Get it? Things are telling me not to hold this thing too long. Yep. I like the smell of this bridge. Can you taste the sky? Oh, I gotta say, Saking, you're almost looking like your old self again. I'm sorry I abandoned the band, you guys. Hey, it's gonna make for a better rockumentary someday. Time for the feast. Feast! feast! Just a thought is all I've got Now my cover's grown At the bottom of a lake Of frozen feeling When my friends pulled me back up I started healing nightmare. I know her from my nightmares. <laughs> Don't worry. All your friends are here. 
friends? Oh, do you mean these friends? The ones who abandoned him in the ice for 20 years. Don't listen to her. Dear Universe, please, shut up! There we go. That's better. Problem solved. Ball of light? You're a helmet full bear. Everyone thinks you died in the deluge of Grulovia. What happened? <sighs> I can't remember much of anything. Well, if you don't mind, I can try to help with that. This was my stupid plan to defeat Maligula. You okay? So far. You okay? So far. Senses were a mistake. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, me too. I let them all down with my ridiculous performance. Almost done. I'm starting to enjoy it now. Almost done. I'm starting to enjoy it now. That's an interesting approach to memories. Enjoy it now! You're moving too fast for that. Oh no, I can't look. This is where that monster drowned my Bobby. Because I failed. Because my stupid plan couldn't save him. No! You saved me. You threw yourself into the path of danger, sacrificing yourself to save me. Rather dramatically, I might add. Well, I mean, thank you. So, I'm not dead. I'm out there somewhere waiting for you to come back to me. I'm coming to you, right now. I swear. Better hurry. You know how I get. I need to take care of this ghost lady and go find my Bobby! <sighs> I'm learning a lot. Yeah, me too. I'm right here! Where are you going? Why did you all abandon me for a thousand years? Twenty. Maybe in your world? Did they even look for me? Did they all forget I existed? 
We did look for your full bear. But my stupid hyper high glaciator there, which we brought to freeze Maligula, well, it, uh... It worked as designed, Otto. But you were so deep in that frozen lake, we couldn't find you. No matter how much we dug. I know you're just speculating here, Helmet. I think you're probably right. But I sent you my brain, Ford. Didn't you find it? I... I don't know. Ford must have brought your brain back because I found it in Otto's lab. But he must have lost that memory when his mind was shattered in the battle. My brain was shattered? Well, come on. It was a little cracked to begin with. My body's been in hyper ice all this time. I'll bet I look amazing. You okay? So far. You were going to act her to death? I did a monologue about Lucy's life and what she meant to us. To try and bring her back. I was useless that day. You think you were useless that day? I tried to stop her with a motivational speech. Actually, Fulbert, you distracted her long enough that I was able to recruit some local animals to help. Which also didn't work. We all brought what we had to the battle. The main thing was, your beautiful performance did bring out the old Lucy. Just for a bit. It reminded us that she was in there. Memories, my boy. Just a show we put on inside our heads. Sometimes the first draft of the script stinks. Thanks for helping me with the rewrites. Now let's go give the people what they want. <laughs> Everybody stand back! Remember, this is our friend, Lucy! She's going through a tough time. I think she might just need someone to listen to her. Save your sympathy for your shrubbery, Donato. Time out, Lulu! body yet, Forbear, but not to worry. I've got your brain, and I'm gonna keep it safe back at HQ, and come back for the rest of you. Just after I figure out what to do with Lucy. Okay, I know you won't forget about me. I don't think anybody's gonna forget about you after that performance. In fact, I think they're demanding an encore. Senior staff only. I'm... Who am I again? Nick John Smith. Nick John Smith, senior mailroom staff. Welcome. Come 
Lieutenant Fulbear, deceased. About time they sent me an assistant. Ford's gonna be so excited when he figures out who you really are, Agent Fulbear. Everybody is. Kid, I owed you one. And now we're square. But I'm not ready to face Cruller. Not until I talk to Bob. But... Lots of baggage to unpack. You wouldn't understand. But please, tell no one of my return. But... I'll see you at Curtain Call! Oh, somebody shut that door before the wind blows all my letters away! Excuse me, Agent Cruller? Clerk Cruller, yes? How are you feeling? Busy. It's like nobody's been sorting the mail for days. Would you mind if I, uh, went inside your mind and sorted a few things out? Eh, I'm never opposed to anything getting properly sorted. Dear Ford, we brought peace to Grulovia, but there is still unrest among the people. A little ungrateful, I think. Home soon, Lucretia. Ford's mind in here for me to reconnect. It'll probably be up in that giant clunky head. Hey, I came out of that clunky head. Really? Can you help me get in there? Uh, maybe, to tell you the truth. I'm not addressed very well, so... I'm sure I'll be marked return to sender and sent back there soon. Just grab on. Did someone say return to sender? This letter's got no return address. I'm afraid that means the dead letter office for you. But wait, I'm a heartfelt love letter. Don't care who you courted, the feelings must get sorted. Keep coming. What's the point? Nobody ever writes what they really mean. Think I could stop a war? Bah, doesn't matter. I never sent it. Maybe it would have saved a thousand lives. Maybe just one. I wonder what would have happened if I'd sent that letter. I wonder if it's too late. I don't belong in here.
out of this graveyard. I haven't heard from you in a while. Send us a card, or better yet, come home. We miss you. Four. I get you out of here. Will you still take me up to the head? Yes, but quick before he. Whoa! Ah! Oh, my mistake. This doesn't belong in the dead letter office. <laughs> Look at that address. It belongs in the international dead letter office. What? No, wait. Uh oh. Don't sound like yourself. 
were just worried about them. Love, Ford, and friends. Gentle rain's not enough to secure my reign. Stop being coy with the hoy polloi.
Okay, just hold still. I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh, no. <laughs> Some letters are such a pain in the neck, they really belong in the furnace. Wait, I think I know how to address this one. Really? Well, it's worth a shot. But don't take all day. The mail must sail into tomorrow, no time to borrow. Boy, I hope you know what you're doing. Is that the missing typewriter key? is almost complete. Just I think that's the key I need over there. Oh. Yeah. I think I know who Ford would like to address this letter to. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's a possibility. I'm not sure about that, but if you say so... Sure, why not? and see what we get. You see? The mail just doesn't matter. Private mailbox. You aren't allowed in here. You've been missorted. You touch that, and it's a federal crime. What did you say in that letter? Nothing important, really. Just that I loved her. She just wanted to help, but they, they pushed her too far. How should we have known? It's not like she was marked fragile. But I thought I knew her and everything she held inside herself. Ah, I had so much to learn. I guess some packages are better left unopened. Agent Crawler, how do you feel? 
I've done a terrible thing. And so have you. But we just wanted to undo what Maligula did to you. Maligula didn't do this to me. That's the first thing I've learned in here. The rest, you're gonna have to see for yourself. Ford, what is it? See for yourself. I'm getting less sure I want to see this. Oh no, I don't think you'll want to see this at all. with the Deep Six treatment. I did what I had to do. I loved her, after all. Wait, what? Someday when you fall in love, you'll understand. What's going on here? What did you want me to see? I couldn't let her go free. She was a danger to the world. Even though it was the world that made her dangerous. Lucretia? Where is she? Safe. She's safe. Well, she was. We all were. <laughs> Not anymore. Whatever I'm supposed to know, just spit it out. I had to hide her from the world because they'd never forgive her. And I had to hide her from me because I'd never forget her. Where? 
Where did you hide her? She's with family. That's your grandparents, Laszlo and Morona. They drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster, remember? What? No! Grandpa Laszlo died there, but Grandma made it out and came to live with my father. No, Raz. She didn't. Ford, I just saw her today. No, you didn't. With Maligula? She was defeated but alive. I snuck her away from the others and I put her in the Astrophane, one of Otto's inventions, created to make permanent alterations to the Psyche. And I used it to isolate and neutralize her, but I knew the world would never forgive her. So I had to hide her somewhere safe. Where, Ford? No. I hid her among her family, Rasputin. Among your family. No, no, no! I projected memories and feelings on your father so he would accept her. Accept Maligula? Yes. That's your grandmother. No! Listen, Raz, I know you're mad. My great aunt killed my grandma. And so you made us babysitter for 20 years? Now look it. You spring this news on your family now, their memories will unravel, and there's no telling how they'll react. So? They might try to kill her. If Lucretia is attacked, if she feels the need to defend herself, that dark spirit could reawaken inside her. Maligula really could rise again. You're right to be mad, Rasputin. I was young. I made a terrible mistake. But we need to deal with that after we get control of this incredibly dangerous situation. She's not there. Probably wandered off into the woods again. She keeps doing that. I know where she's going. The Psychonauts started out here, in the heart of the forgetful forest. There's a compound deep in these woods, protected from intrusion by psychic devices, traps, and illusions. I think Lucy's trying to get in. Trying to go home. Remember, mad later, mission first. Now stick close. I'll show you how to get through. Agent Cruller? I hope I didn't lose him in the woods. Wow, it's really all still here. 
the Great Needle Gulch. So much history here. I mean, this is where you assembled the team that would become the Psychonauts. This is where you first discovered Cytanium. Where Otto made his first psychoactive devices. Where Cassiopeia wrote her books. Where Helmut Fulbear workshopped his psychodicy. Where Bob Zanotto and Compton Bull pioneered communication with plants and animals. And where... where... I mean... This is where it all began. No, Raz. This is where it all ended. 